All right, so let's take a closer look at this pretty unique printer. So yeah, overall it looks amazing from a distance as it does have this nice gunmetal kind of finish. So starting here on top, we have the spool holder. Also very nice that it all matches with the color. The frame is all aluminum extrusion. We got a 2020 here and 2040s here on the side. And they are smooth on the front, very nice. And actually also the back. So we got a really cool logo that's kind of chrome here. Flipping the printer around, we've got these little support brackets here for the belt with bearings in there and the lead screws. Again, I love that the dual Z axes are synced with this belt. And going down, we can see everything is metal, which is really nice high quality our stepper motors and that's the branding of them so that's the x-axis going down here we have a coupler the z-axis motor and the same thing on the other side on the x-axis channel here we can see that it's smooth on both sides also very nice and also this is the back side of where our belt adjusts on the x-axis you can see the belt with the pulley and the adjuster there our bed here with the build plate the bed itself is made out of a, some kind of composite material it's not aluminum looks like that's interesting I've never seen that yet and we do have a metal frame underneath that the reason I think it's like this is because of the multi-zone heating the power wire on the back is strain relieved which is nice to see and it goes here to the back so on the back of the y-axis we can see our end stop switch here and you can kind of see the plug here on the back of it the printer does have a pretty low profile and on one side here we have the power switch which is fused and also there's a little sticker here that tells us to make sure we check the voltage before we plug it in go ahead and peel this off that reveals our plug and our voltage selection is over here in the middle and it's really dark you guys probably can't see that anyways way deep in there you can see uh, there's a like a little red switch and you're gonna switch that between 230 or 115 depending on where you live so make sure you have that to the correct voltage setting because if you don't you could burn up the printer so mine is set on 115 and that's exactly what I need so I'm good to go again nice great big large rubber feet on each corner and that should help with vibration and noise and here we have a manufacturing label that shows us the model name the power rating build size voltage machine size the rated current FDM type and the weight of nine kilograms which is about 18 19 pounds going back to the front here we can see our ribbon cable that connects to this junction box here and then we got another ribbon cable running here around to the extruder assembly so I love the way how clean the cables are and looks very nice and pleasant as the cable management is great. On the top here, we can see this is where our filament will go. So from the spool holder down into the extruder here. And then we saw earlier how this opens up. And this is how you can check your filament and make sure it's going in into the heat brake and then out of the nozzle there. So yeah, very unique design. I like how it opens up and you can, you know, maintenance it. And there's a little sticker here that kind of shows you how to lock it and unlock it. So. Very nice little accent of this chrome ring around. The logo here on front, just very high quality. I love this piece here. It just feels very premium. And also this venting here. Now going over here, we have some pictures of the features, which we have 3D leveling, voice controls, halo bed, which is the zone heating, and RGB LED. And then we have the model name with Wizmaker underneath. And I am pretty excited to try the voice controls. That could be pretty useful. We'll see how that works. Of course, down here we have the bed, which is 220 by 220 by 265 tall. This is what the printing volume is. And for most people, that's more than adequate. And you know, unless you plan to print something a lot bigger. But yeah, we have this amazing build plate with this PEI coating. Really excited to see how well this will work. I love the flexibility of it. Popping off prints should be very easy. We do have a magnetic mat underneath and lots of bolts holding down the bed itself. So going to the front here, we can see the display. Let's go ahead and peel off this protector here. It is pretty large. I think it's 4.3 inches and it is touchscreen. So we'll see how nice that looks when we power it on. I love this little tray that you can put your tools in and extra parts. And on the front on this side, we have the slot for the full size SD card and also a USB-C connection there to connect the printer to the computer. That's pretty much everything with the printer guys and really liking the overall aesthetic and the build quality. 